Hello, everyone. Welcome to watch this video. Uh, my name is Jia Tain from Beijing Jiangsu University. And uh, uh, today my talk is about our works in real-time real rolling stock and timetable rescheduling in urban real networks, a branch and price approach. And the co-authors involve Dariano, Andrew, Yi Hui Wang, and uh, Li Xingyang. The talk involves the following four parts. The first part is the introduction of this study. It is well known that urban metro systems is a passenger railway system in an urban area with high capacity and uh, frequency. Since the first metro line, London Railway was put into use in 1863, urban metro systems have been widely established throughout the world in many large cities involving Beijing, and some other cities. Uh, in particular, during the COV uh, coronavirus pandemic period, urban rail transit systems in China undertake great pressures to keep the crowdness to avoid the spread of virus, especially for uh, Beijing subway. It involves a, a large number of passengers. So uh, the metro systems took a lot of uh, different measures. Meantime, it is, it is a big issue that a large number of incidents happen in high density metro system. For example, we record the incident data of Beijing subway in 2019 from July to August. It is shown that nearly every day an accident happens that delays the passengers. And totally more than 60 incidents occur between July to August in Beijing metro during uh, 2019. And due to these accidents, large number of passengers are delayed in the metro system, which greatly reduces the service quality of the system. Um, it's, it's like uh, like five years ago, the Beijing the dispatchers in Beijing Metro still use some, uh, use some pencils or something like uh, some, some instruments to uh, reschedule the timetable by their by their hands. They draw the timetable of the train in order to recover it from incidents. And uh, uh, today, the dispatchers in urban railway systems actually already use computer aided ATS, and the AT and dispatchers are in charge of train routing and timetabling with the aid of computers. However, it is still not yet solved that. The decisions to reschedule the timetables are still dependent on their manual labor. So, so now let's look at some literature related to uh, train scheduling and rolling stock rescheduling in railway systems. Some, uh, it's, it's, there, there are about three aspects of, of literature on this area. The first one is about the job shop scheduling model. Um, in the last 20 years, Dariano and uh, um, Pagliacci from Roma University developed such kind of model. The drawback is that it relies on a lot of big M variables leading to the large LP gap between the LP lower bound and the integrated feasible solution. Another kind of solution, another kind of methodology is about the time indexed formulation with the aid of spatial tem temporary network or space time network. The drawback is that a large number of integer variables exist in the model, leading to the slow convergence of the mathematical formulation. So typically, uh, branch and bond and Bender's decomposition was used to solve the first kind of formulation. And for the second one, it is very widely used the widely used method is the Lagrangian relaxation. And in recent years, another kind of formulation called the event activity formulation is also uh, very, very popular. However, the drawback is, is that a large number of binary variables with big M exist in the formulation. And uh, the solution methodology um, currently uses the branch and cart with the aid of commercial solvers such as Ziplex and Groovy. Uh, so after we introduce the literature review, we can see that most formulations and methodologies focus on 
um, mainland railways and uh, these methodologies actually require several minutes of computational time. But in urban metro systems, the headway is actually very, very short. It's about like two, seconds, two, two minutes or nearly uh, one uh, or nearly two minutes. So it's, uh, so it's actually not possible to use these formulations and methodologies to compute a very good solution in such a short time. So our paper, we aim to propose a path-based formulation for the integrated rolling stock and timetable rescheduling for urban railway systems in, in the recovery of incidents. And the second contribution is that we develop a branch and price approach based on column generation for acquiring a near optimal solution more efficiently, especially uh, for the computational time. And the third one is that real world case studies and uh, a software are conducted to illustrate effective effectiveness of all approach. So let's go to the second part. It's our mathematical formulation. First, we can we, we describe the problem as follows. We consider the train rescheduling prom, problem for a bi-directional urban rail corridor with a set of stations and depots. We consider that at the initial time t0, the incident is resolved, but the trains can no longer run to schedule. Uh, from the left figure, we see that we can see that three trains are depot. Uh, at DL at station four, station three, and uh, station one, and the dashed lines represent the plan timetable. In the right figure, we can see that if the trains still use the existing schedule, uh, a conflict may arise at the turnaround station. So it is it is impossible, like to use the initial schedule after uh, after an incident. So um, so in practice, train dispatchers usually take the following four strategies to avoid conflict, sorry, and reduce the negative effects for passengers involving. The first one is directly push off the planned schedule. It's very straightforward, but, um, but the, the timetable is actually delayed a lot as can be seen in this figure. The second one can keep the punctuality of trains uh, by canceling a part of services. And we can see from the figure that, that a, a, large, a large number of services are canceled, but the trains can run to schedule as well. And for the third one, it's, it's a balance between these two approaches by using short turning or add new trains. It's very, it's very practically effective, but take a lot of experiences. So, uh, the strategy are required to be guaranteed in real time and still depend on human experiments, human experiences. And uh, in practice, only experienced dispatchers have the ability and access to reschedule the train timetable by using short turning or adding new trains. So our problem is stated as follows. Um, the, this issue can be modeled as a mathematical optimization problem, given a set of K trains located at stations and a planned schedule for each train. The aim of us is to generate a new schedule and rolling stock circulation plan for the trains, such that the delayed trains and the canceling number of trains are minimized with the following constraints satisfied. The first one is that each train in the system must be assigned to a service or back to the depot. It's, it's, it's not difficult to understand. The second one is that each service is covered at most one time. The third one is train following hideaway should be kept within a limitation to guarantee the safety of trains. And the fourth one is that at the end of the time horizon, rolling stocks in each depot should be the same for the next day. Uh, after the problem statement, we can actually uh, use such an event activity network to define our problem. It's, uh, in other words, we can transform the initial schedule to, uh, e to an event activity network by defining the services and uh, 
the events. Events involves the arrival, the depart, the short term, the back to depart of services are all represented, represented as an event. And if each event is associated with two values or costs, the penalty for canceling and the penalty for delaying. Uh, the, the, the modeling framework is actually very similar to the reference below. After this, after 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 the construction of the network, we can we can derive the following path-based formulation, and the aim is to find a set of paths in the event activity network, and the paths is the passes are oriented from each train at different stations, such that the total cost is minimized. Next, we uh, we introduce the model specifically. First is the Variable variable x p if path p is selected in the reschedule timetable, the objective for a function involves two parts. The first part is the penalty for canceling some events, and the next, the second one is the penalty for delaying the events. And the objective function can be rewritten rewritten as follows. It's very uh, the re, the reformulated objective function is actually very concise and. Uh, um, not very difficult to understand. Next, the constraints involve the following. The first one is the uh, train occupation variable. Each every train must be assigned with a path P. The second constraint is that each event E should be covered at most once. And uh, the third constraint guarantees that a minimum hideaway time should be guaranteed. And the, the last constraint indicates that the number of loading stocks at depot D should equal to ND at the end of the operational horizon. So after defining the model, we, we, can, we can claim the following model properties. First, uh, first the complex set of the service passes are very, are very big and uh, increasable. Since the number of possible event sequences increase, increases, Push ex explosionally with the number of events. And the second property is that due to the computation time requirements, we, we need to develop some more efficient solution methodologies based on uh, college, column generation to generate high quality surpluses. Actually, this is, uh, this is straightforward because this is, uh, this is like what, what motivates, what motivates us to um, develop such formulations. The solution methodology involves the following procedures. The first one is model reformulation. We can rewrite the constraints uh, for the hideaway constraints like follows and uh, more into a more standard way. Next, uh, the next step is to calculate the due cost of the uh, original problem. This is a very important one. And we define the following set of dual variables and each set of dual variables are associated with a set of uh, constraints in the model. Next, we can, reform, we can, we can formulate the following uh, reduced cost for each path P. And uh, the pricing problem in the column generation is to find an event sequence with a negative reduced cost, which can be formed by solving uh, the following problem. Following problem is actually a con resource constraint shortest path problem. And the above objective function is reformulated as follows. So we conclude that minimizing the above problem is equivalent to finding a, subs, a shortest path in the event uh, network. And actually here we also did a lot of work about proving that um, the, the, feasible, the feasible solution reading can be caught by some valid equalities, but we will ignore uh, these, these details in this presentation. The procedure is actually standard, uh, standard branch and price. We first solve the RMP and we, solving, we solve pricing sub problems for each string, add the pass with negative cost to the RMP and the branch on the LP relaxation and iterate to a high quality solution. Uh, next, we show some brief, brief results and conclusions. We collaborate with Beijing Math Subway and the signal company TCT and develop the software embedded with our methodology. It's coded by 
uh, C-sharp, and this is the test line layout of Beijing subway. Uh, some primary results in the, um, is as follows. The red, line, the red lines are the train tragedies to, um, uh, it's, it is actually the rescheduled, uh, the rescheduled plan for these trains. And we also compare, a very interesting result is that we compare with a human dispatcher to solve uh, a set of instances. And from the results, we can see that the canceled number of canceled services is reduced very sharply, even though the delay time is, is increased a little bit. And uh, this, this figure shows that the computational speed of manual dispatcher and our, our optimization, optimization based branch and price approach, it can be seen that our approach can only take about 10 seconds and reach and uh, uh, reaches a very good computational uh, performance and reduces reduces the total weight cost of the formulation. Uh, so our conclusion, uh, our simple conclusion. Uh, first, our study developed a path formulation. We developed a branch and price methodology. We developed a software for the decision making of real dispatchers, and uh, our methodology outperforms human dispatchers in computational time and the total weight cost. Uh, actually, due to time limit, I cannot introduce too much more details of our work, but, uh, but I think it's a very interesting and uh, uh, a significant, a very interesting and a very practical, useful uh, research. And uh, if, you have, if you have any questions, please contact me by my email or some other, mm, some other connections like from the informs. And uh, that's all. Thanks. Thanks for your listening.